You probably clicked on my video because you clicked on this video with Epic and Energy saying how to install mods in Borderlands 3. Now this is all good and I recommend following this tutorial, but it's not the same as Borderlands 2, you know? We had that little mod thing, I'll put a little thing on the screen, but how do you do this? Well, today I'm going to show you, let's just go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find your local files for Borderlands 3. This is located here under right clicking on Borderlands 3, go to manage and browse local files right here. It will bring up a little file here, you put this away, we'll save this for later. So the next step once you've got your local files loaded is you want to go down to the best link in the description or you can type this in on github. Scroll down and you'll see this little thing here saying vl3 sdk.zip. Click that and let it download. And once this file is downloaded all you want to do is drag it out, double click and find these files here. Keep this. You want to then drag the other thing that you had, your local files. Let me just grab this over here. And you want to replace these Nope, sorry. <laughs> These with this. I'm not going to do this because I've already done this, but you would copy this into here and it will say replace or whatever you need to do. And that's the hard part done. You now have the SDK mods, and if we load Borderlands 3, you will see it. So once you've loaded into Borderlands 3, you'll see a little menu down here called Mods. This is very similar to how the Borderlands 2 SDK modem works, and if you just click it, you will find all the mods that you have installed. Hello, but how do you install them, of course? Well, I'm going to show you. In the next link in the description, you will find all the different SDK mods you can use. Currently, I've got the Apple's Cheats. If you don't know, they did it on Borderlands 2. It allows you to do God Mode and uh, stuff like that. And all you need to do is download it. The reason I call this a binaries folder is because in Borderlands 2, this was known as the binaries folder, but this is what it is. All you need to do is click on SDK mods, grab the mod you just downloaded, and drag it in. Of course, I'm not going to do it because I already have it right here. And that's all you do. That's how you mod Borderlands 3. And that is it. You now have mods in Borderlands 3. You can click them, toggle them, you can change certain keybinds and whatnot, and enjoy modding Borderlands 3.